Right, hello everyone. Welcome to our next match day. I think this is one. It is match day eight. I might be slightly wrong. I will be checking this and we'll go with whatever match I put on the title. But I think it's match day eight. We're playing Dark Elves and our opponent is playing Undead. This is typically a challenging matchup if our Undead coach has got uh, a little bit of block on the mummies. Um, we will find out shortly. But it is the classic yellow versus That's green matchup. See them driven before you. Um, we are match 601, so this is actually indeed match uh, 8 for us. Our opponent is 321. They've got a mummy with bloody... <clears throat> wow. They've got a mummy with block and guard, they've got a mummy with nothing. That mummy is an absolute menace. Two whites with nothing, a sneaky gear, a wrestle, and a blood sure hands. That's going to be a slight problem to get the ball off. Uh, but he has got 13 players, which is a little too many, I think. Um, over to you. Oh no, he gets 100k, that's bad. That's bad. Let's see what they go with. Two babes. Probably not. Bias ref, they can't have. Loads of sh loads of this. Can't see them doing that. That's the only choice here, really. Yeah, there's the bribe. Do you actually want me to come around? No, Dizzy, I was um I was more talking about um the uh, blah, 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 the microphone because um, I know you're quite good at this sort of stuff. So our opponent did indeed go with the bribe, um, and they are going to receive the ball. So time for us to split the LOS. There we go. Right, what do we got? So we got we have actually got twelve players. Uh, no star player points. Two star player points. No star player points. That's so fine. Done with phrasing, right? I'm going to go double and double so that we can try and get around the edges, and then we'll deal with that. Let's turn off um, distinctive colours. So we're going to play in yellow. We're playing in yellow and I think orange. Uh, I think yeah. Uh, we'll save this and call it um, I don't know Bob. No flanks. We're going to call it flanks. Confirm. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> a, a variant to this I could have had, which I think if you get to two witch elves, you do start uh, doing. Bring this in, bring this in, and then put witch elves here and here. So effectively you have like a four and a four. Um, we'll be looking to try and pull that off at some point. If you have more fun facts, you should be less worried about a blitz. I think you need to go through the rules again. What? Blitz isn't affected by fun factor. How am I feeling? Um, a, a lot better now, thank you, uh, BB Not. Yeah. Uh, so last night, um, it was about eight o'clock in the evening. Uh, I pieced out and was like, nah, can't cope, I'm done. Uh, and then I woke up again about 11 o'clock this morning. Can you turn down the earn skills on? Oh yeah, we can do that. There we go. That's all of them, isn't it? Yep. Oh, you mean you need to go through the rules again? Right, 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 gotcha. Fair enough. <clears throat> I do wish you could select certain skills, right? Like block, I just want to see it on. Um, regen, couldn't give a crap. Am I pleased to see you or did I just put a canoe in my pocket? Woof. <laughs> Hello, Lev. Yeah, I wish I'd protected this one. Oh well. Never mind. So we're gonna we're gonna play this quite aggressively, I think. Yeah, our opponent is is definitely saying uh that they are gonna foul. I mean they foul he's fouling here. This this opponent knows what they're doing.
Five, six, seven, eight. So luckily there, he didn't break armor. Let's see if he gets the ball. Ooh, straight away gets it. Okay. Right, well, I think the blitz is this lineman. The block is there. We'll dig you out. We'll dig you out. Um, and... We already know that he's going to come and try and harass into this area here. Right? Yeah, that is going to happen. Um, so I think we'll, we'll try and tag this out. Looking for a kapow. We find the kapow. That means now we can punch here. If we drag this and put the witch over here, that'll be good for us, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what, what I'm trying to do is yeah, I know he can get through that gap, right? I know he can just weasel his way through, which is a shame, but he is going to, I mean, he is going to weasel his way through there. Um, um, I'm thinking mostly now about how do I um, uh, try and split his team up a little bit. There we go. Right. Is the sound okay? Like, genuinely, is the sound okay? Sound quality of speech is not so good. Really? Really? Is it not good? It's deep... It's okay, but it was better before. Like, really, you think it's better... If, if you think it's better before, I can put it back. Right? And I'll, I'm, this is now... This is now it was before I did any modifications to it. There you go. An annoying accent. There you go. It's back as it was. Sounds metallic. Listen, so at the moment, there's nothing to control it. Like, there's no options, no nothing. It's just, this is how it was last week, the week before, the week before that, right? No buttons. Um, I found an option within, um, uh, what is it, Logitech, which was a button for the, for, the, uh, for the mic, and I pressed it. That's all I did. <clears throat> yeah, this is a louder. Interesting opponent here, um, choosing to give away the sneaky git, which is exciting times. Uh, put the ball on the white, and now we're seeing a potato. We are now seeing a level of potato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Okay, so there's two on the ball there, I think. One, two, three. Yeah? We could chase the ball around here. Or we could just accept that we're going to win the game 2-1, right? Both are fine, aren't they? We've got Lineman, Blitzer, Witch Elf, Thingy, Lineman. Right. First of all, we're going to get the Witch Elf and we're going to put her somewhere useful. Free move, doesn't require any thought, let's just do that. Um, if that's a kapow, then maybe we chase around and we do stuff. So let's find out if this is a kapow. Oh shit. Oh shit, shit. Right, okay. Oh dear. 
Okay, well, that probably changes it to the point where we're not going to chase through the wall. Um, probably not. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're not going to chase the ball. We're just going to have to go and put pressure on said ball. Okay. So. Blitz that out of the way. And then we'll send the... Um, send you around the corner. We're probably still forcing this goal. We've spent the reroll, which is a shame. Um, can't you turn the game down? Is it? Is it? What is the game sound too loud? There you go. Turned it down. Hello, Hex. How you doing? Sounds like Andy is three foot away from his mic. I don't understand why. Okay. What about now? The game is louder than me. It's not. It's fucking not. I can see it on the... Um... What? Is that better now? You prefer that? There we go. So the moral of the story here is don't ever mess with anything. Basically. Now you're out of the game. I can hear again. Why does Devo keep muting himself? I don't know. Um, is a sour frost here? Can I? Anyone called Sour Frost? Are you here? Are you with us? Okay, right, so we're going to carry the ball on Crawl, then we've got three Blitzes to do Blitzy Blocky actions. Um, do I want to go after that yet? Hmm. See, in an ideal world, I'd punch that in the face. That's quite greedy, though. That is quite greedy. He's quite greedy. All right, we'll not do it. We'll not go for greedy. Yay, another month. Hey, Gimlet, thank you very much indeed. Uh, six players can move. That's annoying. I wish I'd set one more forward, right? Because then I could have gone after one of the mummies. Never mind. Okay. So we managed to find all the pals, that's very nice. Thank you over to there. Splits the white. Pick the ball up and run it over here. I think it's going to be my play. Ah. 
Oh. So I'll have to let that slide. I can't afford the reroll on it. Oh dear. Never mind. Remember that time you swapped your cam to this corner and how long it took us to get used to it? Shepard, I do remember that, yes. We're missing Necro on Blood Bowl 3. I think, Juicy, I think Necro will be out in Blood Bowl 3 next time, I think. I don't know that, but I, I have no... That's not, like, insider trading or anything. I have no idea. But I do think the Necro will be next. New larger, Andrew. What do you reckon? I'm not larger, am I? Am I? CIBs, that would never happen to me because I'm not that reckless and need to score on a six plus with a tree. <laughs> Hello, LF. We need Nautilus in Blood Bowl 3. Oh, God. We, we, need about, we need about eight teams in Blood Bowl 3. One of which is Norse. Yeah, wait, wait until Necro land on the ladder, because when Necro land on the ladder, the entire ladder will be Necro for the entire like for that season. You. It will, it will be the most played team on the ladder by an absolute mile. nothing wrong with it being the most played team on the ladder by an absolute mile yeah. but it will be the most played team on the ladder by an absolute mile as long as we're all ready for that Dark Fairy, you were supposed to do better than that. Is the Necro the one with the wolves? Yes, it is, yeah. To be fair, and yes, I know, but w Wu-Tan, I know that the, the, the team that they release next is always the most played team, but Necro will be a special one-off of, oh my God, that got played a lot, right? It will be so much more than every other team. Because it's probably the most popular team in the world. Probably. Leonis says, Annie, I'm taking Wood Elves to a brand new. Oh dear, my witch I've got put in the face. Uh, brand new league. I've got nine Lum, two Wood Answers, and two rerolls. Uh, what should my first skills be? Size up on the dancers, bludge on the linemen. Um, oh, really annoying. That stupid fucking skull there. Um, ideally, what you what you want to be doing is the which out the war dancers getting um, uh, tackle and, and strip ball. I still think that those two skills are very strong, and I think I would I would start with those sorts of skills. Um, once you've got those, it's not going to hurt you at all leveling up some of the um, some of the linemen because the linemen will give you some re redundancy and reliability on doing stuff. So don't dismiss leveling up the linemen at all. Oh no. 
knows I'm going to punch that in the face because she's just going to get annihilated if I leave her. Brrr. Right, start with that. Shit turn. Oh dear. She is absolutely going to get annihilated now. And there is nothing I can do about it. Let's pick the ball up, boy. Oh, no! Pick the fucking ball up. Idiot. Um, right. There is no good blitz. There is no good blitz here. There is no good blitz. run you round here and I'll run you to here what you then end up with is a slightly wider screen and we can do dodge and have to blitz there So, I'm going to try and isolate those players, because we're clearly going to go over there. Um, so, yes, we've, we've completely sacrificed our Witch Elf, right? Completely hosed our Witch Elf. Um, but, we are going to go and score down that flank. We don't mention the YouTube that overstimulates him. What YouTube? Uh, hello, sure thing. How you doing? Oh, you've come from YouTube. That's why we're talking about YouTube. Wonderful. Sure thing. You were one of my favorite people here in 2024. Uh, we'll carry that. Guarantees the player. See, so he won't sleep now. Yep. No, I, I love your cauliflower. I do, genuinely. Good evening. Uh, I feel like I'm being rejected. Cauliflower, you're not being rejected. Tree, I like tree sat quietly. Probably got a bowl of popcorn. Small piece of spicy chicken, perhaps. Who knows? Quincy's not rejected, just ignored. I taught you plenty, Quincy. It's remarkable that it's when it's not my turn, I read out nearly all of the things that everyone says. Not all, but, you know, a good chunk of them. My turn, I have to play Blood Bowl. Have to. Yeah. It's the law. What are we on? We're on turn six, and it is currently um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to blitz that, I think. We have to get around somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. This is not ideal, actually. This is not ideal at all. Bloody rushes. 
misses. There we go. Right, so we kind of half fixed it, which is better than not fixing it at all. And then what I need to try and do is dig something like this and put it over here, probably. So, 2D that. In the face. Yep. Right, can now bother that wrestle door. And then it's time for some 3 plus hero nonsense. Is that Dark Fairy let me down again? No. Never mind. <clears throat> Never mind. We are, we are now in scoring range, so it's fine. Uh, hey there, Andy Dabby, I just popped my tea in the freezer. What? Oh, shut up. Why would you all mock me about that? Good evening, Mr. Hancock. Nice like to see you. Nice to see you uh, looking so swirlingly spiffing. Why are you playing elves? Elves, best, best race. Best race in Blood Bowl, elves. Everyone's kind of with my glorious mane. Yep. This is actually a bit of a pain in the ass to get out of, if I'm honest. If only that wit uh, elf had just dodged into the square I told it to get to. We would not have this problem. But no. Lord Darris, Golden Tooth, doesn't know exactly what he's doing. Crap, ain't. Oh well. Any other fling mains? What? Any other fling mains? What do you mean a fling main? Oh, fucking dead elf. What, what is broke? Yeah, that's dead. Okay. So we'll be looking for a new, uh, a new blitzer. Lord Darius is unfortunately dead. Uh, Mac in text. Thank you very much indeed for eight months. Uh, that is, uh, is very kind of you. Thank you very much. And I won't bother here. Anyone else have a black screen? Nope. I have to go to the right pile of bother here. This is rubbish. Well, well, well. Okay, if this is a pal, we're, we're fine. If this is a pal. We're gonna be fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna push it there. push it there, I should then be able to follow through and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we just use these three elves and create a screen there, we'll be fine. So that's the plan. That's the plan. Yep, 
And it does need to go in that square there, because otherwise I won't have the angle. Well, that's not the right square. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, now I need to rely on rolling a pal. Wonderful. That's no pal. Not even a space station. <sighs> Bollocks. Well, that's gone horribly wrong. Well done, me. Shit. Shit. I don't know anything that can pass. Oh, shit. That's gone horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need to go and stand there. And you need to stand there. <sighs> Shit. What's that? We've got a white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shit, this has gone so very fucking wrong, it's unreal. Oh no. Ah, oh, this has gone so very wrong. Well, maybe Bludge will save us. It's okay, I was a different style to adapt to. He was always so used to banging, don't feel bad. Get off! I am kind of curious to see how he chooses to play this out, right? Is he going to try and push um, and try and get after the ball, or is he going to go after the scoring threats? He's going after the ball. Okay, so he's blitzing here. What's that to do? However, he is removing his recovery. Okay, Blodge does indeed actually do a thing uh, and has actually now officially saved us. So well done for Blodge. He doesn't enjoy a good piece of Blodge saviour. But we have a slight scoring threat issue. Yeah, we've still got to actually do the score. Yeah, that's very true. And Blitz's throw on a four. Which is not their favourite favorite thing to throw on. So really, ideally what we'd like to try and do is push this Blitzer forwards. That would be the, that would be the ideal solution here. But how? 
Push, 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 push. Stand that way, stand that way. Blitz. That's not enough. Uh, push. We can step that there and I can block. So I can get someone through. So I know I can get you through. I think maybe... Maybe you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it'll just have to be a four plus. It'll just have to be a four plus. Gross. Gross. Alright. So first of all, get rid of that and get it out of the way. So that now gives me a diagonal to walk through. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've now got my diagonal. So we'll blitz here. Fuck. Okay, never mind. So I now don't have the reroll for the double go for it or for the, the pass. Really annoying. Fuck. Bollocks. Dead Blitzer didn't score. Hmm. Fuck. Jack really of Blades is back. Okay, so I'm going to have to play this for a draw then. Fine. Ugh. Annoying elves. <laughs> uh, how's the elfing going? Badly. Very badly, actually, I would say. Uh, yeah, I'm, st I'm still not fully recovered. Uh, Sinteric, thank you very much indeed for these annoying elves. Uh, 17 months, you're an absolute hero and a legend and a gentleman and an officer. Thank you very much. Why 1D blitz over 2D, 2 plus dodge out? Um, I think the player was... There was player here, player, player. He was there, he was there. It was a 4 plus dodge, wasn't it? I wasn't... It wasn't there and there... And there, there was it was a four plus dodge. So it was a shot to nothing, right? Don't roll a. Um, if I roll a both down, I'm just going to score with that guy. And if I roll a anything, yeah, fine. I'm then stood in the end zone. That was the thinking. Uh, right. Well, bring the ball forward a bit. Blitz the goal. Mind.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. Uh, have I got any tabletops planned in April? Uh, one minute, let's have a look. I have a very handy tabletop um, guide thing that I use. Uh, 2024 events list. Uh, yes, I have. I've got Global planned uh, on the 6th and 7th of April. I am using uh, this spreadsheet, which has got currently all of the UK tabletop tournaments on it. Uh, it's got a hyperlink to every single one, and it tells you when they are. And, and there, yeah. And I like it, so it's mine. Um, yeah, I, I don't like the, what they've done to passing. I think they've absolutely ruined passing in this rule set. I like what they tried to... Like, I could understand what they tried to do, which was throwers in the old rule set were uh, a bit pointless in a lot of cases. Never tell me the odds. So people wouldn't take them because a lineman could do the same job as a thrower. So why take a thrower, right? I understand that that is a problem. I also think that the way they solved it was stupid. <laughs> And both statements can be true. Do, 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 do. Right, so you're going to go stand there. We're going to try and surf that off the field. You're going to surf that up. The ball is going to go back here somewhere so it's safe. So click a couple of players, you're fine, you're fine. In fact, actually, we could bring the ball back back one, I think. Yeah. Ball is now as far forward as it's ever going to go. Yeah. And we're looking for a push into that square and then a push into that square. So that's the first push, thank you very much. Push into that square there, thank you very much. And we can throw the 2D block with block. Throw the 2D block with block. Don't do that. Uh, Matty, sa uh, Matty says, what's my most played team? Uh, depends on what format you're talking about. And are you talking about most played ever or most played in this rule set? Um, <laughs> so if you're talking about online ever, my most played team is Chaos uh, because the ladder was leaned into chaos and they, they were quite an interesting team to play in the previous rule set um, if you're talking about Blood Bowl 2 uh, sorry tabletop ever it's Dark Elves and if you're talking about what my favourite team to play is I'm probably like Necro are the, are the thing that pop into my head so there's that Centauric says Alpha Bowl is 2nd March Alpha Bowl where's that If you give me a link, I'll add it to my spreadsheet. Very sent admins. Yeah, send me a message on uh, Discord. I'll add it to the spreadsheet. Specialist pass is nice. The problem is the cost. Yes, you're absolutely right. The, the, the problem is absolutely, as Nissa says, that the... Yeah, a wood elf thrower is 105k. That's stupid that you... That no, that, that hasn't incentivized me to take a wood elf thrower. That's irritated the crap out of me that wood elf throwers are so bloody expensive. Because I could just take a lineman and on seven turns in nine... Seven turns in eight, he's doing a wood elf lineman job. So I'm paying 30k per turn for him to do nothing for me. What you need is you need um, the throwers, if they want to cost them, the throwers should be costed as 
the same as linemen. And no one's going to sanction that. Because they'll be up in arms going, oh, throwers are the same as a lineman. Uh, yeah. Um. Right. Uh, we're on turn 13. We probably need to consider moving the ball forward a bit. So we're going to start just edging here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could throw a block there and push here and follow. And then maybe we surf a mini. Why is there only one dice? What the fuck really is that bad? So only one dice. Gross. <sighs> Is there a blitz that I want to take? No, not really. How far away are you from the ball? Miles. So are you. So we'll blitz and we'll pull you into the centre. Okay. Blitz. Don't roll a skull. Oh, you fucking rolled a skull, you fucking what, like fuck! Stop rolling like Cheeky shit! Bastard. Stop rolling like utter shite! It helps not to roll a skull. Doesn't it just help to roll not a shite pile of dice? Yes. Turns out when dice are rolled that are not shit, um, the game's loads easier. I concur. Stupid fucking thing. Um, you, you, it's, it's not about how much value you're getting out of it or whether you're getting value out of it. It's how much, how much value are you getting out of it? The thrower adds absolutely nothing on defense on all the turns you don't hold the ball. And so it's an incredibly expensive player. Uh, if you want to make a thrower be better than a lineman, it should have a better stat line than a lineman so that you actually want to take the thrower on defense. I don't think... That, that there is anything that you, you go, oh, I, want, I really want to take a, a, a Wood Elf thrower on defense. No, you bloody don't. You really want to bench it. So now I'm paying 105k for a bench player. I mean, and at that point, it sounds really bad, doesn't it? 105k for a bench player. Hi. What? No. You're both funny, are you? Oh, you're both a mummy. Oh, okay. Jay! <coughs> Lev, I think that is his squad. What is that? A dress. A dress. Well, it's a very nice dress, Emma. <laughs> I don't really care whether it's 85k, 95k, or full bazillion k. It's way over-costed. 
It's unbelievably overcosted for what it is. Like, be clear, it is overcosted for what it is. Uh, we're going to need some three pluses, aren't we? Yep. We are indeed going to need a couple of three pluses. So I know I have to blitz there. Have to. Um, then you can run off over there. Yay. Um, and then we'll try and do, I don't know, like 3 plus to get you through, I think. I think. I think that's the play. Oh dear. Oh no! Oh, the fucking goal! Oh! Oh well, never mind. Uh, I didn't read the UI clearly at all, right? And I was like, oh, it's just a two plus to do what I wanted to do. Well, it was no plus. I just assumed it was free. Turns out it was a three plus dodge. So. Um, and that's just cost me the game. Brilliant. Yay. Fucking love it when the UI's shit. Right, let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can go and stand in that square. Yeah. Four freebies, just go be there. Right. Um. Let me blitz that. That's free. North. <clears throat> and then we need to do something else, probably with you. We want another score. I think we also need another scoring threat, but I don't like leaving that white around. I think we. I think we're going to put two scoring threats in. Yeah, it, it just. I don't think. Uh, but apparently, I, I, I would not you know, necessarily say that they were stupid, but I think it was um, unwise to do what they did for sure. They didn't need to do it, right? They could have just just been over here, right? They were already winning. They added a, a two percent each time to to get unlucky. They they got punished on the worst one of the two, and then the ball went out as well, which was really harsh for them. Right, we're a two plus away from tying up a game that I thought we'd lost. Let's try to not lose the game. Yeah. 
And why is he was stupid in, in French? Uh, okay. I don't speak any French, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you reckon Skitter should have been banned for football or not? Um... Uh, I think they should ban all the star players, Hancock. <laughs> so, yes, because it would have been under the umbrella of ban them all. Um, in an in a vacuum, am I banning Skitter in a vacuum? No. Right, like, you've let, you've let Ivan through, um, for example. So, no. You want all the star players banned? Um, no, not necessarily. Right. Hang on. First of all, Jack, let's, let's, like, it's, it's actually worth a, like, a, th a three minute segment on its own, right? The question, first of all, is, should always be, what is the objective of the rule set that you're trying to write? What are you trying to achieve? Do you want something that's totally different from everybody else, or do you want a competitive, balanced rule set? Right? What are you aiming for? So when people talk about this rule set, oh, they should have done this or they should have done the other thing, you've got to first have understood what the person who created or the people that created that rule set, what are they achieving? Now, for me personally, if I was making uh, tournament rule sets for a tournaments that are going to contain 100 plus players, I don't want those rule sets to be wacky. I want those rule sets to be balanced and fun. So from that standpoint, um, a lot of the large rule sets in the UK at the moment are not meeting that criterion. They are a bit weird because they have an ability for you to be able to break the rule set or turn up with something vastly more competitive than someone who chooses to not try and break the rule set in inverted commas. Um, Water Bowl is one of the examples of a rule set that you absolutely can break if you try hard enough because star players themselves are if not um, balanced in any way, a very expensive, um, sorry, a very powerful tool. So, what makes a balanced rule set? First of all, taking all the teams in Blood Bowl, all 28 of them available at tabletop, they're not all the same power level, so they need help. Take, for example, Dark Elves on one end, Nurgle on the other. If you took a 1,100 Nurgle team and an 1,100 Dark Elf team, Dark Elves are clearly just better. So, therefore, Nurgle need more help. And people either build rule sets either flat, i.e. everyone gets the same, or they build them, thank God for that, we're not going to get one turn done, um, or they build them tiered. So Nurgle need a tiered rule set to be comparable with Dark Elves. When they're not, they're not. So that's the first thing, right? You have to make, if you want to make a balanced rule set, team, uh, rule sets have to be tiered. Have to be. They're not, that's not up for debate, that's not up for thinking about, it just has to be a thing. The second thing is whether or not you are going to um, add uh, uh, punishments for taking some of the more powerful things in a game. The two most current powerful things in a game are stacked Tackle Mighty Blow and stacked Sneaky Git Dirty Play. Sneaky Git Dirty Player is the most powerful, Tackle Mighty Blow is the second most powerful. If you don't have any form of punishment for stacking, teams that start with players with block that can then and then have access to generals and strengths have a very strong lineup. So, you know, orc blitzers, whites on undead teams, um, yeah, a, a human blitzers, those types of players get tackle mighty blow very powerfully. Um, humans also get sneaky get dirty player and a catcher, very powerful. If you allow bribes with no consequences, you'll see people turn up with sneaky get dirty player bribe. That's really powerful and did takes away from playing Blood Bowl and starts making people want to just do Foul Bowl and Removal Bowl and Dackers and all other like nonsense Blood Bowl that is out there. So for me, the best rule sets tax things that are oh yeah on the strong end, and they don't and the, but they allow variety and they go for allowing people to turn up with at least sort of sixteen or eighteen of the the, the races being viable. Don't lump Dankers in with Foul Bowl. Um, um, and I would like to see oh it's a shame he was the one with the most star player points as well oh well uh, I would like to see rule sets uh, punish tax star players I would like to see them um, tax stacking 
and I would like to see them aim at going and making a tiered rule set so different races, the ones that need a bit more cash, um, end up looking as attractive as taking Dark Elves or Underworld, for example. And when you look across the UK and you look at the big tournaments, how many do that? Hardly any. So there you go. There you go. That's what I think. Kind of curious. Does, that, does anyone disagree or agree? I mostly agree. Yeah, that's fine. How do you do stacking? No, you, so, uh, Nico, you either, uh, you just don't allow it, right? Jack Ball disagrees. Awesome. Um, for all its compl complexities, I'll tell you one of the best rule sets that I've seen this year, and I can't believe I'm, I'm almost coming full circle on this. I think the Eurobowl rule set is fucking good. In all, in all honesty, the World Cup rule set was really good. There was a couple of races in the wrong tier, fine. Um, but the Eurobowl rule set and the World Cup rule set are actually were, are and were very, very good because they uh, tax certain things, they blocked other certain, you know, combinations and they're, they're, they're fine. I, I would like to have seen the Eurobowl rule set go with no star players at all. Like I'd go even further. Have I seen the Bilbao rule set? Um, I think the Bilbao rule set for last year was pretty good because I played there and it, it was fine. Um, and, I, and I think it's okay to allow um, uh, stacking um, to allow to allow stacking, but you need to pay for it. You're not allowed just to do it for free. That 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 is where it. it I think it falls over, right? It's okay to have stacking but you've got to pay for it you've just got to pay for it vampires are tier six change my mind um so i don't like the i don't like the ability to be able to uh, modify the the, the team's jlev i'm talking about just Put the races on a tier list and go are the tier list is the tier list fine yes or no um i think the um i, I wouldn't have the vanilla and the, the the legend of this the legend of that legend of other thing nope all right um yeah if you just took all the teams vanilla as they are there you go or you could or you could just have said um you you can stack you know tiers three through 25 whatever they actually go down to they can stack at the cost of one star player point um uh sorry one skill point or two skill points um star players are allowed at the cost of two skill points done right that's probably probably what i would have done with the eurobowl rule set so everyone has vanilla and then has these other two options available to them but they're paying for it there's a star player tax and then there is uh, a stacking tax yeah okay that's fine I disliked how CC did stacking. What CC? Oh, 